Yeah, I tell you what, a day goes by where I don't think about that story he just told us. You know, uh, I go hunting every morning. That story's always on my mind. I pray to God every night that it don't happen to me. Hey, this is a situation here about to tell you about my tragic hunting story down there in Kentucky. Home of the fried chicken. Hey, I was up there at my Paw Paw about 5.30 in the morning, September. Just kidding, that's there. October 21st, 2001. He decided to take me along for the ride down there in the Kentucky to uh, experience the, uh, the outdoors up there and check out some buck. I was up there in the tree stand 30 feet up, like I said, and just got done, you know, chirping on my grunt call. Right there he is, right there, my grunt call. Up there, moving my left shoulder. And just got done spraying some, some uh, no scent action right here over my right shoulder right there. And I was up in the tree, and uh, little did you know, I seen a buck down there. I'm over my right shoulder, coming down about 60 yards down there. I told my papa out right there, and he said, would you look at that? And we took a look, and he was rolling down the hill. He was ready to go. He was looking for some dough around there. So we grunted her in. He was rolling in, real big shot, you know, with his shoulders back and broad chest out. He was ready to buck around. So he had her in the scopes, right? A ball ball, he had her in the scopes, and he was ready to fire back. This here bow right here, this bow Sally. He was ready to fire with this bow Sally right here. He was about to shoot her at him in the crosshairs right there. Point blank range, we had her about 20 yards away, my Paul Paul. So we're ready. We're sitting there. And little did we know, there was a little rascal climbing up that tree right there. It was a squirrel. And I didn't even hear it coming. I didn't, couldn't even believe she smelled me. I had my scent blocker on. It was rolling up that tree like I'll get out. She was flying down a back road up that tree up there. And that little rascal jumped right on my leg. And it scared the heebie-jeebies right out of me. I jumped off that tree 30 feet up in the air. I landed down there, my paw paw. Scared the buck right away at 14 point, went up the hill faster than you can blink. And I was like, would you look at that? I was on the ground crying like I'll get out. I was like, would you look at that? I couldn't even feel nothing. My paw paw come climbing out of the tree stand. He didn't jump down there. He was paralyzed too, just like me. I was down there. He took me into the Kentucky hospital. He called it a fried chicken hospital. And I was like, what in the world? But I went in there. And yeah. Uh, Laced me down like I was like crazy or something. I, was, I don't know. They tied me down to that there bed, and that's all I remember until they put me down. They didn't think I'd be walking for the rest of my life. I sit here today, steel toes laced up, bow in my hand, grunt collar on my left, scent blocker on the right, car hard on, and my hunting hat. And I'm a hunter till this day, but you know what? I still play baseball for that Penn Manor Commons down there. That was a tragic day in my life right there. I fell off that 30 foot tree stand at 5.30 in the morning there on the October 21st, 2001 with my pawpaw up there in the tree in Kentucky.